Welcome back, everybody. Now it's time to talk puppies. Yes, Team Ruff will be taking on Team Fluff in this Sunday's Puppy Bowl. Who's not excited for this cuteness? It's about to go down. And we have host Travis Borson. I would say you're also part of the cuteness. Thank you so much for being on this morning. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. So let's talk about this. They'll be, you know, competing for the Lombardi Trophy. We have the ultimate guide, thanks to you. Uh, what is all about the dog games? Just tell us what we can expect. Yeah, so so the dog games is a spinoff from the the Puppy Bowl, which which Puppy Bowl airs on Sunday. So Puppy Bowl presents uh, the dog games. Uh, I am one of the judges, along with Kristen uh, Crystal Powell, and then Kim Whitley is the host, the, the, the funny, exuberant, uh, uh, huge personality, just brings so much to the show. Uh, but this is all about bringing four amateur dog trainers together to compete for $5,000 that will go to the charity of their choice through a series uh, and, and of challenges in three different rounds. So a lot of fun. Okay, and Travis, you are one of the most sought after dog trainers in America today. So what is it gonna take for these trainers to win this? Well, not just being a good dog trainer, but also being a good dog owner isn't always technical. And what I mean by that is we're not looking for the dog that does everything perfect or the owner that does everything perfect. You know, being a dog trainer and a dog owner is all about how you communicate with your dog. So we're looking for how the owners and the dogs work through different challenges, how they handle adversity. When they approach a certain challenge and the dog looks up at them and goes, uh, uh, I don't think so, mom, dad, I ain't doing that. How does that owner, that dog trainer respond in those moments? That's what we're looking for. I think everyone at home who has a dog can totally relate. Our dog just literally ate a potted plant yesterday, and I'm like, why? <laughs> you seem so happy all the time. Um, but of course, let's talk about the appeal for these kind of shows. I mean, the dog games, we all need this, right? Something to watch that's adorable and makes us smile. We do, and even though it's a competition, it's all for charity. Uh, who doesn't want to laugh? Who doesn't want to watch owners playing with their dogs, doing what they love? And that's what the spirit of this show is all about, celebrating relationships between owners and their dogs. Every owner is a trainer in their own right because they're in charge of navigating life for their pets. And so everybody watching this show is going to be able to take something away that they can practice or try on their uh, own dogs at home. See, and that's what I want to ask you, Travis. I mean, do you have any good tips for, uh, you know, those of us with dogs? I know each dog is different, but is there something just overall that we should all kind of keep in mind when, when we're trying to tell our dog to do one thing and they don't want to? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. You know, I first off, first off uh, encourage people to use positive reinforcement training, which means you know, using something that motivates them, love, praise, toys, treats, their food, uh, and, and, and help them make right cho choices, reward them for those choices, and then by repeating it, they're likely to repeat the action. And then above all else, I tell people, just like with children, if we don't create rules, boundaries, and structure, they are going to take over. <laughs> and I know a lot of people out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, we know. Oh, yeah. Rules and structure. They don't like it, but they have to follow it. Thank you very much. Travis, we know this is a competition going down here. What does the top dog get? So the winner of the competition is going to win $5,000 that will be donated to the charity of their choice. So this is not just fun but it's also for a great cause, very family friendly oriented show that everybody can enjoy together. Thank you so much. Great to have you on this morning. Can't wait to see all the puppies and their trainers, their owners. Good to see you. Thank you.